Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do the August edition of Love Me Beauty. So I got to pick the package because as you know sometimes I can be a bit slow on the uptake with it. And honestly it was a bit of a weird one because all three of them had a brow pencil in, well like a brow pen, um, which you'll see in a second. And they all said blonde and I'm not blonde, I've got probably like medium to dark brown hair with some highlights in. So I couldn't really understand it and obviously I just decided to go for it anyway then at least I could let you know. So that's a bit of a weird thing but I'll show you that in a second. So if I open it up you can see that I picked edition 3 and then all the details are on the inside of the card. So if I just move everything over you can see the four products that I got in this month's box. So I'll run through it with you. The first one is by Mar um, Mask. There it is. So it's their mineral eyeshadow. Now it says on here it's 100% natural. I've not opened this up before so I'm going to open it up and show you now. But it's 100% natural. It's got mineral based loose powder that is strictly cruelty free. So that's all good. It's available in a range of striking shades. Offers endless colour possibilities for a professional makeup effect. There's the colour that I've got. I don't open this up, I'll probably ruin it. Now this, I'm going to guess that this is full size. Oh, it's covered there. But I'm going to guess it's full size um, and it's £14.49. So that's the first product. The box overall is brilliant um, because that on its own has paid for it for itself really. But that's the first one. The next, obviously by the way, you'll use that wet or dry. The next thing is the one that I was dubious about, which is this here. It's by um, a la carte cosmetics, I think they call themselves. And it's the smudge proof eyebrow definer in blonde. So I'll open it up. I have already opened this to have a look at it. Now I've already tried this eyebrow pen. It came in a beauty box, I'm gonna say about two years ago. And I know that it wasn't, it was like the brunette one or brown, whatever it was called. And it kind of looked very similar to this packaging. And I swear to you, if I do a line, it's identical to the brown one. I can't really see a difference. And actually, it's very close to the gosh one that I used to get. Actually, to tell a long story, um, this eyebrow pen is what got me on to doing my eyebrows in the first place because it's just got such a fine nib to it it really is brilliant gosh do their own version now this is meant to be 23 pounds and honestly i wasn't going to really pay that much gosh do a version for around six or seven pounds and that's really really good that's pretty spot on actually i'm just going to see if i can find it but um i do really really like this and i just can't understand why it was advertised as um brunette it blonde you know what i mean now i mustn't have that anymore so i can't show you but it looks identical anyway so anyway that's that 23 pounds and that it might work for a blonde person but i think that you'd have to be very very careful with it to not make your eyebrows too dark but either way i'm happy i just find it a bit weird about the description of it but that's that the next thing is a product that i'm probably not going to be able to say the name of um Ori, there it is there, Oriflame, I don't know, but it's the Swedish Spa Beauty Wonder Oil. This is £8.45 and it says it's a lavish, versatile, multi-use oil and it's got antioxidants and various other things. Straight away, this is a gorgeous scent. It has got, where is it, tonic ginger oil in and that's, it says it's got kind of um, nourishing coconut and various other things, but ultimately it, ta it tastes it smells like ginger, not too strong, it's only like a vague scent but it is really really pleasant, well I like ginger so that's that. So it says for you to use it for massage, moisturising, bathing or a pre-shampoo treatment for dry hair. So that's really really interesting, very keen to try that out, I've already put that on my arm and it's the first thing you do isn't it you want to test thing out you put it on your arm and it kind of gives your skin a nice um subtle kind of radiance like oils do 
um, and obviously it smells amazing so it'd be really nice to kind of take on holiday for like moisturising of an evening or something like that so that's that and then the final product I haven't opened this up the box has literally just come so it's kind of an off the um, cuff video really but it's by Mirabella I'm going to guess and it's the Lip Luster Liner in Shy, which is £10.50 so if I try and open this up it says that it's a sheer brilliant lip liner it's easy to blend with and layer it's got aloe vera that keeps the lips soft and application comfortable long wearing shiny finish that creates a perfect base for uh, lip gloss formulas so that's the packaging of it you can see the color there if i open it up you can see that color let's try that probably can't really see it that well but it's like a dusty rose sort of colour so it'll be perfect to go with a lot of things actually but keen to try that out obviously it'll give you a matte sort of look does it I don't think that's shiny maybe a little bit of shine but it'll give you a nice finish anyway not too glossy whereas it starts sliding off your lips so excited for that one um yeah it says to apply before a lip gloss as well underneath there so that's that that is the overall box i'm really really happy with it i really wish that a la carte would get their act together in terms of that coloring because honestly i could have easily have skipped that box just for the fact that all the options said blonde um so that's that a la carte need to get their act together that's my overall thoughts let me know what you think and Obviously, as usual, please follow all that jazz. Links to Twitter, Instagram, blog, Facebook, all below. I will be reviewing some of these. And thank you so much for watching.